Are you born to a puti? One more beautiful time, grade 11 science, chapter number 3 is in front of you to discuss about mixture once again for the ninth time. And we are going to do some interesting preparations of standard solution in this beautiful session. Without further delaying, we will understand the preparation of standard solution. Let's get into the subject now. During chemical experiments, standard solutions are required to be prepared. During chemical experiments, standard solutions are required to be prepared. A standard solution is a solution in which the concentration is very accurately known. The relationship among the following units are very important in the preparation of standard solutions like 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 cubic centimeter or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1000 milliliter therefore 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter the following laboratory equipments are required to prepare a solution of a specified concentration remember these equipments volumetric flask corresponding to the volume of the solution and that one is wash bottle the third one is about watch glass and the fourth one is about funnel volumetric flask wash bottle watch glass and funnel is the one we have been using for making these solutions in the laboratory now let us study how 500 cubic centimeter of a 1 mole per cubic decimeter sodium chloride solution is prepared. 1 mole per cubic decimeter. Now let us understand first the mass of the sodium chloride required for this should be calculated. Now let us understand okay the molar mass of sodium chloride as you know that sodium chloride's molar mass can be calculated as sodium chloride here right so sodium is over here and chloride and that comes exactly 58.5 grams per mole 58.5 grams grams per mole now that is mass of the sodium chloride in 1000 cubic centimeter of a one mole per cubic decimeter solution this one is for 1000 this particular amount what we took is for 1000 now we have to understand how much is in 500 cubic centimeter so mass of sodium chloride in 500 cubic centimeter of a one mole per cubic decimeter solution 58.5 grams divided by 1000 cubic centimeter and multiply by 500 so we can get a results as 29.25 grams 29.25 grams is very easily obtained how here you can get a result of 2 and here it is 1 so 58.5 divided by 2 the results will come as 29.25 now like that we have another one 250 cubic centimeter of one mole per cubic decimeter sodium chloride is in front of you now the molar mass of the sodium chloride once again 58.5 grams per mole now this is once again you should know that the calculated rate 58.5 for 1000 cubic centimeter here we want to find out that for 200 cubic centimeter therefore 58.5 divided by 1000 cubic centimeter don't forget about it and here 250 i'm sorry 200 cubic centimeter so we can easily obtain a result like this how many it's four 
So 58.5 divided by 4 is the results. As I found out from the calculator, it is 14.62. What is this? 14.62 is the answer. 14.62. You should write G, the grams also. So to prepare 250 cubic centimeter of one mole per cubic decimeter sodium chloride, you need 14.62 grams. That is right, the mass of the sodium chloride. Now, here is another one, 100 cubic centimeter of one mole per cubic decimeter glucose. How and what is the mass that they, we want to calculate? Now, to find out, we have to find out the molar mass of the glucose. What is that molar mass of the glucose that we want to understand? This molar mass of glucose is for the 1000 cubic centimeter for that is 480 grams per mole so you know that all right now if you want to identify that one for 100 it should be written as 180 grams divided by 1000 multiplied by yes it is 100 so you don't forget to write cubic centimeter over here as well. Now here the answer will be 180 grams divided by 10 because we are cutting it off and we are getting results of 10 over here. So the results will be 18 grams. So we got the answer for that question also. Now the next one is 500 cubic centimeter of one mole per cubic decimeter urea. So what is the molar mass of the urea? We want to find out. So the molar mass of urea is the one that we want to find out now. Here we go. I found the molar mass of the urea. I'm going to explain that one how I got it. Okay. The carbon is 12 over here and oxygen we're getting 16 2 times sodium that is 14 into 2 and 2 times hydrogen multiplied by 2 hydrogen is 1 the molar mass and there are 2 hydrogen that is that means it is 2 2 times 2 yes that is 4 it comes and the result is going to be 60 grams per mole that 60 grams per mole is for the thousand cubic centimeter you know about it now we want to find out for the 500 cubic centimeter why we want to find out for the 500 cubic centimeter so 60 divided by 1000 cubic centimeter we are getting the answer multiplied by 500 cubic centimeter so i hope you understood this one also the results will be like this thousand how many thou 500 in 1000? It is 2. So we are getting an answer as 60 divided by 2 grams. And the answer will be 30 grams. So 30 grams of urea we require to prepare 500 cubic centimeter of 1 mole per cubic decimeter. That is right. So we understood that also. Now the last one is about 250 cubic centimeter of 1 mole per cubic decimeter copper sulfate the molar mass of the copper sulfate is 160 grams per mole and as we know that we understood what is that molar mass right so that is for 1000 cubic centimeter that is for the 1000 cubic centimeter of one mole per cubic decimeter the molar mass is 160 grams here we want to find for 250 cubic centimeter for that we want to divide that by 1000 cubic centimeter and multiply it by 250 cubic centimeter that says 160 divided by 4 because here the 4 and here the 1 so that is grams 40 grams will be the answer for that question so it's this is very easy and we understood how it is being 
prepared the solution is prepared like this so when preparing a solution of a specific concentration following factors should be taken into consideration cleanliness of all the equipments you used when we are using you have to use the very clean equipments number two weighing the solute accurately you have to weigh the solute accurately and washing well and transferring the substances sticking on the watch glass and the funnel into the flask and using the correct technique for mixing and adjusting the final volume carefully and finally Prevention of the entry of impurities into the solution is must also. So, we came to know everything about preparing the solution. And I'm going to meet you in another session to learn further about our subject. Till I meet you again. Take care of your studies. Bye-bye.